What's up, people? It's your boy Jumbo here reporting live from Jumbo Sounds Recording Studio. Absolutely. I'm here with my man, Checkmate. You already know the vibes. I am Check, a.k.a. Checkmate TV, a.k.a. the voice of the unpopular opinion. Here to set it straight, set the record straight. You know, just vibing. How you feeling today, Jumbo? I'm cooling, man. You know what I'm saying? I, uh... You know, I had to get us together. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I had this idea to do this little podcast. and um, Right, you know, and this just... is the Shoot Your Shot podcast, right. shoot, baby. Shoot your shot. Shoot your shot, dickhead. You know I mean? <laughs> Straight up. <laughs> we'll, we'll beep that out in post, you know what I mean? Hey, you know what I mean? Just whatever. kid we keep friendly. It, keep, it all, keep it all live. Man, we, we, we curse. keep it all the way it. tall around who, here. Who don't curse, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? That is what it is. <laughs> but um, yeah, so I had this idea, you know what I'm saying? I, I ran it by check, you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? I figured at top of the year, you know what I mean? And um, had this idea, you know? Start a little podcast and uh, involve some liquor. You know what I mean? Yeah, so basically, you know, we're going to get some topics flowing. And, you know, every so often we're going to, sh- you know, drink a shot. You mean shoot just get... Shoot your shot. Shoot your shot, man. We're just going to, you know... Basically, we're just going to give our opinions, our perspective on some real life topics, some real life uh, things going on. Jumbo is the perfect person because he Straight talks to up. a lot of, uh, you know, artists every day. Yeah, me and Check been rocking out since the since the middle school days. You Absolutely. Know? And we've had uh, conversations in the car about just Absolutely. regular shit that, you know. For those who don't know, we have some epic conversations, some mm-hmm. conversations that shaped a lot of things around here. From the mud, too. That's, that's real talk, and we always come up, you know, we, we decided we needed to, you know, record this, so this is going to be the next big thing. I'm letting y'all know that now. We're going to speak Shut that up. into existence. Shout that's out to right. the secret and the law of attraction. Mm-hmm. So that's first things first. So without further ado, I guess we might as well shoot our shot. Today's liquor right. of the day is E&J. <laughs> the you know, Jesus. The E&J. Uh, the Jesus. The Jerk. Uh, the, uh, the, uh, what they call this? The Section 8. Right. You know what I mean? From Whatever the, you want to yeah, call me. it. I'm and with you, it, though. You know, E&J, if you want to sponsor us, <laughs> let us know. Right. We are here. And we, shoot and your we, shot podcast. We're going to get this big enough to... Too, where it's gonna be all different kinds of liquor. So Absolutely. if you up and coming and need your liquor, yeah, you know I mean, whatever we could do, we could you shoot mean, that shout shot. Shout out Dame Dash too. We need some of that dust, <laughs> right? Dust, all uh, Dustington popping, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, My bad if I said that wrong, but Dame Dash, I'm looking for you, brother. But today we work with this Urca jerk. What you think about this new bottle, Jim? Yeah, it's definitely a step up. Yeah, man, this shit looking like, I mean, this looking like something different now. <laughs> you heard me? Yeah, man, this looking like something different now. Right, like they, you know, they made it to the, you know, middle shelf maybe. <laughs> <I'm not saying>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, before it was just a little simple bottle. Right. You know what I mean? Look like, you know what I mean? Well, like, back in the day. Tall neck. This it, actually, it looked like the old, the old, you know, E and J. The a old bit. bottle, right? Yeah, because they changed it for a while. But you know, this the peach too. By yeah, the this way. the peach. By you know the way, mean? I got these custom shot glasses for us. <laughs> <laughs> so we gonna start it off. What do you mean? A first shot of the Shoot Your Shot podcast yeah, in right, 2020. Man. We gonna put the sound effects on. Give me a round of applause. Bye. You already know the vibes. I'll let you boy. Let's get these shots rocking. Yeah, let's get it. And, and, you know, we do the big shots around here, too. Damn, we, that's we, a husky. Yeah. We, 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 we going to get fucked up around here. That's the whole key. Yo, that you know was I mean? the key. So I figured, you know, the more shots we do during the podcast. The realer it's going to get. Exactly. You know I, mean? I already gonna, don't got no filter, so you yeah, already we're, know. We're going to get mean, a little, little wavy and just talk. Just that talk, shit. Man, talk that talk. Yeah, you man. Know? So and let's go. First shot of the first sh- shot, shot Damn, podcast. Bro, it's heavy. 2020. <laughs> fuck it. Let's get yeah, I yeah, think man. I think I got a little bit more than you, all but it's right, cool. Man, we'll, no, 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 no. Come on, shoot. All shoot. right, all right. I mean, it ain't no but a G thing. Let's get all it. All right, let's go. First shot, shoot your shot podcast. Shoot your shot. Woo! Urca Jerk's like, always smooth. She was like iced tea. That shit was like iced tea. Like some peach iced tea or something. But I promise you, that tizzle will get you rizzle. That's right. <laughs> you ain't lying. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm feeling it already. So. All right, so so we're going to get into a topic. That's our first shot. So that means we're going to dive right into the first topic. First topic that I have off the top of my head, and um, this is just what I've been thinking. Um, Jumbo, what advice would you give to these new up-and-coming artists, artists that are completely independent, completely, you know, they walk through this door, they get a session, make a song, what is next? Well, <clears throat> definitely got to make sure the song's hot. 
You know what I'm saying? That's first major key. And definitely don't be the only one to critique your music and think you the hottest, you know, <clears throat> artist in the world and you the only one that listens to your music. You know, you got to have a little team behind you. Absolutely. Making sure that, you know, they feeling what you're doing and, you know what I'm saying? Absolutely. And then, you know, don't like what I learned from experiences with, with newer artists, especially ones that just started, you know what I'm saying? Like... They'll think they, they'll record one song and think it's the one. You know what I mean? Which it may be. Yeah. It, it might be the one, but you might want to record a couple and, you know, see which one's really the one out of them couple. You know what I mean? Right. That's one thing. Well, see, look, I'm going to just stop you right there. This is what I got to say, right? First things first, I don't care how many songs you record. If you record one song, make sure you promote that song. Well, facts, you know I mean? yeah. Well, I was like, talking about so get it get it recorded first and make sure you ready is good enough to dr even drop. You know what I'm saying? Right. Well, my whole thing is for, I'm not speaking to the artists that ain't ready to, you know, that, that music ain't hot enough to drop. You know what right, I mean? I that, that, you. that, that, that's, that's another, that's another conversation for, you know, that ain't where I'm at. All right. right so now. artists that's ready to go. A artist that's ready to go. They <clears> might <throat> got a few Jones that's, you know, that's all right. You mean that we all think is all right, you know, or at least his gang think is all right. You mean, right. what's the next thing? So the next thing that I think, you know, first things first, I'm tired of seeing artists put out or make music in, in studios in general, and then they just drop it on SoundCloud. And or just, not even drop it at all. That's just, the worst one. Yeah, yeah. When you don't drop it at all. I know a couple of people. Is on, oh, that man. Like, well, who's <laughs> what, what are we waiting on? We waiting on um, Jay-Z to come check this hard drive out See, or that, what? Yeah, and that's, that's I think that's opposite. the misconception. That's the, that's most, the exact opposite. It, it, you, you know, and this is just it. my opinion, by the way. So first things first, I'm just, I'm just give some advice on what my opinion would be. Um, my opinion is when you drop or make a song, Drop it immediately. I don't know. Drop it immediately. And first thing you need to do is get on all your socials. They got all these little dumb apps now. TikTok, Thriller. You can make your own little short promo video to it. Utilize that. I don't understand how these guys. I know so many rappers out here that will spend more time posting their outfits in their the club that they're at that they will promoting their music and that's what that's what that's what like fucks my whole head up but like it literally like i'm like damn i just had this conversation with a couple of my youngins and i'm like how y'all just posted a, a a instagram story that was 40 grams long or whatever you want to call it, snaps long stories long it was like this story was so long i almost got carpal tunnel clicking through it but ain't <laughs> nothing was about no music and you just was in here all day. You had right. three songs done. I ain't seen one about music all weekend. I think priorities play a part with that. You know Absolutely. But I think a lot of people be scared or don't know how to promote their music. That's that's what and I, I can see why they don't want to do it the wrong way. But you gotta, a, you gotta try. You gotta shoot your see, shot. I, I, oh, yes. Yeah, sh you gotta shoot oh, your shot. Oh, oh. That, that sounds like another <laughs> shot on that one. You gotta shoot your shot. Absolutely. You feel me? That's 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 a rule we're gonna make up on the spot. Anytime we say shoot your shot, we gotta take a you shot. Gotta shoot your shot, man. Absolutely. But yeah, I, I'll piggyback off what you said. I mean, yeah, I, I totally agree with you. Don't be scared to put your music out. Like I always tell artists, like. It's a lot of artists that come up here and they um they tell me yeah I'm, I'm gonna I'm I'm dropping the album da 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 I'm like you already got some oh, oh good luck um yeah they tell me they're dropping the album I'm like I'm like bro you got I right, say you got twelve tracks right why drop an album when you could drop one song a week for the next twelve weeks you know what I'm saying absolutely and then and then like you're always promoing something new to your, to your fan base or to your followers or to your listeners, whatever. And you're giving yourself to get more. Exactly. To get more. And you're giving them something, you're giving them something fresh and you're not always promoting the same album for like, you know, you can't even promote an album for 12 weeks straight. People are going to be like, damn, he, he's still doing this, throwing this picture up. You know what I mean? So. Yeah. And at the end of the day, one thing off of that, ain't nobody checking for that album if you ain't, you know what I mean, promoting the singles and if you ain't got people to promote the singles. Yeah. And, and, like, my whole thing is, like, damn, you, you make your song, get right on the gram. Yo, I got this song out. Do a little promo in studio on the phone. Develop some apps. I mean, get some apps popping that'll make your shit hot. And get, your, a, get your peoples to post it, throw it up, get too. Get your peoples like, to throw it up. Your team got to be, like, behind you 100%. Like, you know what, you know what I'm saying? Like, you got to have... Like, 
I know this one artist that comes here. His brother mm-hmm. is like his biggest fan. He that's works love. harder for him than anybody would ever in the world. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Love. Like you need somebody like that on your side that's gonna, you know, just do everything they can to push you. If you really wanna be the artist, you wanna be the star, you know what I'm saying? You right. need somebody else to make them phone calls and absolutely. you know what I'm saying, do but some that footwork. Is, that is absolutely true because as an artist, you 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 a lot of ninety. I would say if I had to put a number on, I would say ninety percent of artists just want to be artists and don't want to connect the dots. And connecting the dots is just as important as the artistry itself. Thanks. So like meaning like you know hitting these clubs, you know promoting your stuff, and also hold. On, I keep saying this promoter thing. Another thing about promotion, I don't care. I'm gonna just once again. I'm gonna just put this out there. When you make an Instagram post about your music, put money behind it. So what do you That's, think is the best way for them to promote themselves as far? Okay, I, you know, home. Before you answer that question, we gotta shoot, shoot our shot. Let's shoot our shot. You know what I mean, all that right. One was a little quick, easier. Quick blueprint. <laughs> Marketing one on one. First things first. I'm gonna give y'all statistics on marketing. Marketing one on one, one percent rule. One percent of whoever you show it to, don't matter if they know you or not, will buy what you're selling. So. Now, the goal is to make that 1% big enough to make you some money. Cool. So let's go with the 1% oh, let, let me ask you this. So, all right, say- I, I, say, I didn't get in the how yet. I'm right, just right. giving we you gonna, the, We definitely the, the gonna get there. But I wanna say, I wanna ask you this. All right, so somebody on the gram, say they got 10,000 followers, right? Right. How many people you think on that gram are gonna click that, that, that you know, promo thing or whatever, to go, and actually go listen, stream, or buy your your song. If you got ten thousand real followers, a hundred people, at least a hundred people will listen so to what, your music. What's that? One percent. That's one percent. Yeah, one percent. So yeah. One percent. So that's to put it in perspective for you. You feel me? And that's just that's that's sad, actually. For real, for real. That's yeah, that's well, like a well, harsh reality. <laughs> you know what I mean? See, also what, what people are not telling people. See, is a lot behind marketing, and and you know this is where you know this is where we get deep, and this is what I specialize in. So market marketing, it, it because this is this whole thing about engagement, and there's this whole thing about um influence. So you know the more of a figure you are on social media prior to you dropping music will raise your engagement when you do drop music. So hypothetically, if you're on the gram every day or the girls love you and they just love you prior to the music or they love what you do without the music, then when you drop the music, it's just an added bonus. They're going to click what you got going on. They're going to see what you got going on. That's why all these little social media influences, influencers are dropping music. I, I, yo, my, so shout yo, out. real shit. Yo, I, and they actually, don't even rap. I'm not going to say no names, but yeah, but there's, we a, know, lot of, we know there's a lot of, about. there's a lot of influencers out here. As soon as they get that million, million subscriber mark or million view mark or million follow mark, they go straight to music because you know why it's the easiest thing to sell once you got high engagement it's mm-hmm. the easiest thing to sell so that's that you guys need to look up the one percent rule and the laws of marketing and marketing itself you want to get your number it was funny i went to school for marketing like yeah. literally it's right. college they ain't teach us none of that shit right <laughs> well also this is well, a, right. th- th- these are newer right things but I'm because sure, yeah, social yeah, media social is media, for sure for sure you understand what i'm saying You're but right. But at the end of the day, that's been a global rule as far as like commercials. That's why they want to show you. Or maybe I just you. didn't uh, pay attention either. <laughs> <laughs> that could be it. <laughs> but um, so that's the thing. So the idea, we, we just the, the, what I just ran through is you want to show your song, whatever your product to a lot of people, so your one percent is big enough to support you. Okay, so right. now. We, that's what I just said in a nutshell. Show it to a lot of people. All right, cool. Now, how do we show it to a lot of people? Cool. Now, Instagram. Instagram, Facebook. We're going to just start here. Instagram. This is a common thing that I wanted to tell every single person, and I hope this is the platform I could do it on. I don't know if you know, but I do a lot of promo with a lot of big-time people. And I'm going to tell you something that you might not understand or might not think is going on. But every post that is posted by a celebrity that you follow has got money behind it. Meaning this. Facts. When you post a post on Instagram, first of all, if you're a rapper and you're not a public figure Instagram and you don't have a business Instagram, you're tripping 
from the gate. But anyway, you you make a business Instagram. Your Instagram, uh, and it's real simple. It's just w- go right in the settings. It's one s- switch over on your regular account. Just go to the settings. Turn That's it to another a business thing. Account. Be about your business too. Be a business. Yeah, be a business. You know what I'm sure. saying? Like if you, if you're if you want to be a rapper for real or an artist for real, you gotta be your own business. Like absolutely. Like you gotta you gotta get LLCs and all that. Like you gotta get. You gotta, you gotta get, make it a business. What did Hove say? I'm a business man. No, I'm not a business man. I'm, I'm a, a business, business man. man. Like we handle shit. my business. Damn. Exactly. So you gotta treat it like a business too. Be professional in certain aspects. You know what I'm saying? When when you're trying to reach out to somebody, you know what I mean? Absolutely. We're gonna yeah. get to that too. But let me finish this. Okay, so. Switch your Instagram over to a business account. Cool. Now, once you got that out the way, now every post you post, at least about your product, I would, me personally, I would say every post needs to have money behind it. Now, there's a lot of ways to put money behind it. I'm going to just give you the simplest one. There's a promote button under every Instagram post. Literally, it's a blue button at the bottom right-hand corner of every Instagram post you push. You push it, and it says engagement. How much total engagement would you like? Oh, we. I want 1%. So I want 1,000 people to buy my mixtape. So check said there's a 1% rule. I Googled the 1% rule. So if I want 1,000 people to buy my mixtape, how many people do I need to show it to? You need to show it to 100,000 people. So how much does it cost for me to show my mixtape to 100,000 people? Right, they or can my, figure that shit out. My, they know right, how, but yeah, this you know is, what I'm saying? This like, is all basic Instagram math. Instagram breaks it down for Instagram you. Instagram breaks it and down for you. And they'll break it down to the city that you're showing it to. To the city. You know what down I'm saying? To the so, city. You know what I mean? Figure that shit out. We, we can't break it down all the way yeah, I can't. I can't break but it all the way down to the source. Just saw. figure that shit but out. Figure if that you shit don't out, know it already, because a lot of people do. Put, know put this a shit. lot of money behind every post, especially about music. Right. Simple as that. You could go show your music to like Singapore, or like yeah, anywhere. And, and don't fuck with it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like you could target one spot. Right. You know, I th- as far it costs as I know. more. It costs more to target a single spot, but right. that don't even but, matter. Hey, we talking about we, doing we it. talking about doing yeah, it. We, you know, you gotta put your money behind it. That's why these labels are still in business because they do indeed. Put money behind the music, even right, though like, you don't you might, need a label. And, and when you start doing it, you might figure out that like people fuck with you in, in Maine, and you're from right. Philly. Like where where where's your mostly audience? Florida, at? Florida. Like right. we not from Florida at all. You know what I mean? like, but I, my biggest audience, and I don't know if you guys know, but I'm viral on a Snapchat, and my biggest audience to date is from Florida. Now, why I don't know. I may have an idea, but it is what it is. So I, I, I just came back from Orlando. Shout out to Mike Busey. Shout out to everybody from Orlando. They showed me nothing but love. Yeah, shout out Orlando, man. Absolutely. Right. But um, yeah, like at all. Shout out Checkmate TV too, because that's absolutely. what he's talking about. If you don't know Checkmate TV, go find it. Absolutely. Or if you want to tell them how to find it, you know what I mean? <laughs> so, look, you can find me on Snapchat at check underscore PPV, check pay-per-view, or you can go on the gram and find me at check underscore mate underscore TV. But that's neither here nor there. I'm not really trying to self-promote. Yeah, we're not that, promote. That, we not promote. We just got to tell you a little bit about that, ourselves that's just, that's, at one point That's just another. me. You know what I'm saying? So, it is what it is. But. All I'm trying to say though is you rappers make a song, market it. I don't the, the song could be singers too. Singers, you know I mean? singers rappers, rappers singers, now it's a, it's a little bit of a both. Whatever the situation which I love, is. by the way. And I and honestly, my personal opinion, once again, this is just my opinion. I don't care if the song is trash. You could sell a trash. You you, you I, I look at it like I look can't. at it like uh you it's know been the a streets. few songs that, that blew up that were Garbino. Uh, heavy on the bean yo. <laughs> <laughs> Trash Yano Vest Dushi. <laughs> Heavy on the Vest Dushi. <laughs> Real, rap. <laughs> <laughs> Real rap. Like, no, nah, that's that that joint whack. All them joints are it. They knew how to market going. it and they knew who to you know what I'm saying? It works. It works All right, so 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 that's our breakdown on song to marketing. That is key. Just remember if you could take anything from this podcast is you make a song that's only half the battle. Now you have to let people listen to the song. Listen to the song. Market it, cause I'm not gonna listen if I don't see no promo material for it. Ever see so it? We definitely not we checking for you. Yo, it's crazy. I'm sometimes, checking for Jay Z. Yo, yo so sometimes it's people that come here, right? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> and they'll um, they'll record me for like a minute with mad tracks. I won't even know that they dropped their project. You know what I'm saying? Like, and then they'll tell me like, "Oh yeah, I dropped my jaw." I'm like, "Oh word!" Like, right. and it might be partly my fault. I'm not always. 
right. searching through new shit, but I should know. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. So if I didn't know, then you're not making enough noise. You didn't promote it enough. Enough. You know what I'm saying? And right. or at least hit me up and tell me to throw it up for you. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, you know I mean, but I mean, uh, that was a sim- that's a simple one. You know, right? What I mean? And that's another thing. What I want to piggyback on as far as promoting, you know, you can reach out to certain people to throw your shit up too. They might charge you or whatever. You know what I mean? But Hey, you got to pay to play. And if you find the right people, you know, that shit could spiral to something bigger than you ever imagined. You Absolutely. know what I mean? Because I've seen it done personally and I've watched I've watched it happen. And you know? hold on, let's get rid of this stigma too. Oh, I want to do mine from the long way. I don't want to pay. That is the if if an artist says that to me at least, I'm not listening no no further. Yeah, I mean, they could say I, that all day. I'm not, they ain't, that's know. ridiculous. You're they tripping. They ain't shooting a shot. You, and what's that? What's that I mean? mean ah. Another shot. <laughs> they ain't shooting yeah. they shot at all that is trash you need to pay like you weigh that's a simple thing you know what I'm saying Jay-Z is Jay-Z cause hey, he Drake, came into the Drake game ain't never put a, Drake ain't never put a track out that wasn't promoted bro in one yeah. way or not but like, people might have promoted it for him for free cause he's Drake but, but yeah, but we don't even need to talk about Drake. We talk about the simpler nah, artists. I'm talking about the Yo, biggest. I, I, yeah, well, no, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, I, I, no, I feel that, but it's a little bit easier for the biggest to not promote. It is, of but course. I mean, people like I like people like. Um, but we compete with everybody. Example. Like everybody competing. Like, in like, a sense. like for example, I give you the perfect example of somebody. Every time Lil Uzi about to drop a, 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 a mix a song. He get right on there and do a whoa, whoa. And he do another dance. He starts shuffling on you. You know what I'm saying? He do a thriller with a dance and, or a shoulder roll. And next thing I know, the whole internet is ready for the song. You understand what I'm saying? And yeah. I be at the club. The song didn't even drop yet. And I see people shuffling and, and that's his little gimmick. And that's his to, gimmick to, to promote to his get music. People, not only that, to get people to put their eyes on him. Right. You know? It's like, it's crazy. The world that we live in now, it's like you could get popping off something so small. Mm-hmm. And like next thing, next thing you know, you're like viral or whatever, you know. Yeah, and did you did you hear that uh <clears throat> that TikTok is making songs platinum now too? No, but that's crazy. That's crazy, right? <laughs> that's but, dope though. Like that's I love dope. that shit. But but like, but see, but, um, so, huh, huh. so shoot your shot, shoot your shot. Yeah, man. So I was just watching um. A few podcasts on this, on a few uh, radio stations, and what their view was on this. French Montana had dropped his album. I knew nothing about it. And I'm sure a lot of people didn't know nothing about it. I did. You knew about it. Cool. Shout out my boy, Sap. (laughs) Okay. Shout out, Sap. No disrespect to... No, I hear you, though. I did not know anything about it. But apparently, he went gold like five, six days after it dropped. Now, people are saying that he went gold five, six days, seven days after a drop because of TikTok. And mm. some of his songs I didn't hear about that. were That's big dope. on TikTok more so than even the radio. Mm. And that was something I didn't know. And I know, I remember, you know, a few artists uh, uh, like a year ago, like 6 9 and, um, you know, Tr- Trippy Red and all them guys, they were using Instagram. They're little, I don't know how it works. Don't get me to lying, but I know the views on Instagram, and I know if it's over a minute, it counts towards Billboard or something weird is going on with the Billboard streams. I think you just have to listen to the song for forty five seconds. I think if the song is listening for forty five seconds, the Instagram. Loud by the way, if you do have the answers that we're you know talking about, correct us. Yeah, feel, feel free to put it in the comments. We don't know. We just talking. I'm, I'm, I'm just. <laughs> I'm, I really don't know, but I'm just giving y'all some ideas. So basically, I say that to say this. What people are doing is promoting their music on TikTok and it's going viral. And mm-hmm. it's going viral and your song is going to blow up. What's crazy up. is that on uh, on the gram the other day, I went on, I was on the Explore page and the, the biggest, vi- you know how they got the big video? Right. And then a whole bunch of little videos around it. Right. I see in that, John, I see an artist that I, that I recorded. I didn't record the song that they were talking about, but it said... And I'll say his name. His name Lil Player. Shout out Lil Player. Okay, Lil Player. Shout um, out Lil Player. It said, it said uh, Lil Player's new song is going viral on TikTok. Mm, I'm like, right. I'm like, and it wasn't Lil Player that threw it up. It was somebody, some other, you know, Entity. platform. Yeah, right. And uh, I was, that was the first time I was like, damn, shit, shit, can go, shit's really going. Songs are going viral on on TikTok because little girls are dancing to them, and right. you know what I'm saying. So. 
and get on so, every platform. Yeah, and, and yeah, TikTok I mean, is one of those promotional platforms for your music. TikTok, yeah. Thriller. Thr- uh, thriller. <laughs> tr- thriller. Thriller, right? Yeah. Thriller, th- whatever the situation is. Mm-hmm. Make a long story short, you make a video, whatever, put it out. Um, make sure you also... You know, shoot music videos too. That's another thing. Shoot music yeah. videos so gotta you can have the, the visuals. Promotion. You gotta give them the visuals. That's like the old school. That's key, major key. Um, because I watch YouTube more than I watch cable. I'm pretty sure that's a fact for everyone. Right. And if you point. throw a song up on your on your gram and it's got a video to it, I'm gonna listen to that before I listen to just a little wave sign of your email. Too. Absolutely. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, absolutely. Put the visual to it. I might, you know. And I ain't gonna lie, me. I do the I like to hear someone organically thing, so like what I mean by that is yo you'll be like, so what what happens is an artist will come to me and say yo my joint's hot posted on your snap I'm like all right cool I'll listen to him you know what I'm saying I might you might think it's hot might not think it's hot, but I won't think it's hot until I hear it organically in the streets because I'm around every day. You understand what I'm saying? I'm around a whole lot of people every day. So you'll tell me your song is hot, and then I'll hear it somewhere else, maybe a month later, maybe two months later. long as you've been working, it's going to come back around, and someone else is going to let me know you're hot. I remember in the early days of Meek Mill, you know, and still to this day, you know, cars driving down the street was banging that shit. Absolutely. You would hear it. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. And, like, and, and that's, and that's, that's when you that's know you real. got the influence. You know what I'm saying? Oh, right. That's when you know you got the influence. Um, you know, when that's what it's all shit. about. Mm-hmm. That's what it's all about. So that's basically what I had to say about artists and promoting their music. You give me a topic, partner. I'm off that. I just want to switch it up a little bit. Like, um, you know, it's a lot of... Um, a lot of... Uh, it's the end of the year or it's a new year. Was Beginning the of, of the year. new year. Shout out to 2020. 2020 is about to be amazing. Uh, Trump started the year off with some bomb and <laughs> shit, but we not even going to get too deep into the politics. That's crazy. I had I a dream about, about that politics. shit before it happened, too. That mm. shit was crazy. That shit fucked me all up. One thing I want to say about it, <clears throat> though, is... Uh, of course, I heard it. You know, um, you know, I was, I, I was praying and hoping that. Uh, Yo, producer, pick that shit up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, producer, can you, uh, yeah, you yeah. Can handle that pick for that me? Pick that up, right? my, my, my man. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, so, but yeah, I was praying no, no retaliation was happening or whatever, and I'm glad it went down smooth and whatever the situation may be. And yeah, I'm glad too many no people wars, didn't die. Bro. We definitely don't want Fuck no wars. I don't want to go back to no 911, and I don't want to go back to anthrax. But. <laughs> Facts. Tyrese posted the actual. They might be too young about to know about anthrax. Yeah, they too young. That, <laughs> yeah, that's 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 way too young. But um, Tyrese posted the actual video of U.S. bombing and shooting down the people in Iran. Damn, that that's was deep. crazy. Seeing it, actual video of it, hearing about it is something different than seeing it. What if uh, when they shooting, were they shooting a shot? <laughs> <laughs> You know, yeah. I got to throw it in here, man. Yo, that that was the you. whole twist behind this show Absolutely. was that we got to we got to get drunk. You got to get drunk. Yeah, you know I mean, so now I'm feeling I'm feeling it. Absolutely. Yeah, you know I mean. But yeah, it was just crazy because yo, they bombed the cars. There was there was like four there was like four cars. They bombed the cars, all four of them. Somehow people survived and start running out the cars. And once they started running out the cars, they started gunning the people down that they was running out the cars. What, the U.S. was? The U.S. God, it's on man. Tyrese's Instagram still to this day. It is uh, something crazy. That was the only place I seen it. It was crazy. That's all I want to say about that. Yeah. That said was something different. Let's just hope. Let's just keep the peace, man. Let's keep Hopefully. the peace. Hopefully. 2020, it's going to be a big year. Big year for the Shoot yeah, Your my, Shot podcast. But my question, yeah, Shoot Your Shot, man. Hold on. Before I ask you, ask you the next question. Shoot your shot. Absolutely. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, but that's real. You know what I mean? This is all real, baby. And Might you regret see it, it halfway tomorrow. Gone. You see it. I know, right? God damn. All right. So um so yeah, my question to you is, and it's been some speculation around this. I couldn't spit it out before. Right. But um, what's the best album, rap album of twenty nineteen? That's a really good one, huh? Um, we heard what Drake, I don't know if you heard what Drake said, but what did Drake that's say? where I got the question from. 
What did Drake? I'm not going to tell you. You tell me first. <laughs> oh, oh well, uh, Drake gave you the answer? No. I'll, I mean, you may or may not agree oh, with Oh, I, I watched the Drake interview, too, I, on um, with uh, Elliot Wilson. Shout out to Drake. That was joke. something different. That was yeah, a real good joint. Yeah. I just like that whole aviance for whole. Let me think for a second. Best album of 2019. I'll get, I mean, you want me to give you some options? Yeah, I mean, give, me, give me some options. Throw I mean, some we, options out. All right, we got, um, and I might miss a few or a lot, but, you know, <laughs> we got the Dreamville album, Post Malone album, Young Thug album. Album, um, Rick Ross album. Um, I'm gonna have to say, hold on. But there's more than that. Now that I just thought about it, that's all I needed was that amount of time. I'm gonna say the hottest album, once again, just as far as the streets, and I deal with a lot of females, had to be the baby second album. I don't know which one that was, what that was called, but f- mind you, I didn't listen to it too much. I, I fuck with the baby, I fuck with like most of his songs. Um, yeah, the baby's definitely on that list, man. That, that sure. had to be probably the hottest album, the most, the most noise. Um, me, me, I, I'm gonna go with, yay, man. Oh yeah. Hey, Kanye to me is a, is a still and it a musical genius. So and his album is fire. So Jesus is what is it? Jesus is king. Jesus is king is it absolutely is fire, amazing. Bro. Like his mu- um, musical, you know. Musically, it's it's fire to me. I yeah, love, I love it. All right, and so it's good vibes at that. Like. Two things I'm gonna just say real quick. First things first. When it comes, you know, I, I'm speaking in two different tones here. So, my favorite album of the year is by far Jesus is King. Um, see, see, that's why that's why that's my guy, right? Absolutely, we, we agree musically absolutely. on a lot of shit since since, since Cassidy. Cassidy. <laughs> Yo, that's <laughs> a see, funny story. Got to always tell this story, baby. To on the first shoot your shot podcast. <laughs> yeah, go ahead, bro. When I first I met this guy, you. man, you know, I came to a neighborhood. It was a lot of white guys in the neighborhood. You know, uh, shout out to like Aunt Rinaldi and Jared Seymour. <laughs> uh, government, <laughs> government. You gotta give the governments, man. But um. That's how they do it in the suburbs. They give the government. They give the government. <laughs> oh, right. You know, but uh, they was all listening to like ACDC and Corn and not all, me. all turtleneck <laughs> stuff. Not me. You know, I come around nah, with, my head head nah, with my headphones. With my headphones on. That. <laughs> I come around with my headphones on. I'm rapping Cassidy, and this guy was finishing all the bars. He knew Cassidy raps, and I was like, "Oh, that's my guy right shout there." Up. Yo, shout out yo, to Cassidy. Yo, yo, shout out to Cassidy. That is a true story, Cass. So yo, well, I remember. I I even remember the bar. Mm. It was like it was something like my whole head a crack like, like sunflower, sunflower seeds. seeds. <laughs> ah. <laughs> yo, but uh, yo, that was the days though. But yo, yeah. absolutely, and shout out to Cassidy. Uh, to me, I'm gonna just throw this out there, just you know, part of the Shoot Your Shot podcast. Cassidy to me is probably my favorite Philly rapper of all times. Maybe mm, it, it, that's it, deep, it, 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 it would. I, I would have to go Cassidy. Uh, Beanie Siegel, Meek Mill, or I would say actually Cassidy, Meek Mill, then Beanie Siegel. Mm. That's how I would say it. Mm. Um, but I do, not to take anything away from anyone, I'm going to just throw this out there again because I'm feeling a little on. I would usually be more political about this, but I do feel like Meek Mill may have surpassed everyone yeah, at this I point agree. in life. I agree. But <clears throat> if I you want to come down to, like, because see me, I'm a bar for bar type of guy. I've been waiting to get into this. Bar for bar. But if you're from Philly, you know Meek been popping, you know. Oh, yeah. Uh, man, for I, the longest. Listen. Yeah, I mean. I ain't going to get into how deeply rooted I am in these conversations. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> man, uh, hoes, we never lost them. We fuck them and then discuss them. We ain't fucking my man. That's that's one of Meek's first songs. Like, you know, the real Meek. Um, all that, like, I know all Meek Mill. I know a lot of Meek Mill's raps. Shout out to Meek, yo. He shout really out to did Meek, that man. Shit. He like, really I grew did up. That shit. Him, we Joey we're Jahad. We're listening to Meek. Yeah, shout out to Joey Jahad too. That's, Absolutely, that's our guy. You that's know our mean? guy. Along this way, but yeah, we Meek, Meek been been doing it for a minute here, bro. Absolutely, like on a big scale too. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, I'm literally 16 years old riding out to Meek Mill, Joey Jahad, ride out. Once again, that's on me- Real Meek. Mm-hmm. Um, Meek Mill, Joey Jahad, and Cooley Mills. Um, right. That, that was, was a banger. That was too. a banger. That's one of my favorite songs of my high school days. I wish Philly would have stuck together with that Absolutely. shit. Absolutely. Yeah, Shout out to Young Bob. He had something. I don't know why yeah. we ain't never. That, that was Bob. Rockefeller. That was our glory days for real. <laughs> 
He that, said that was Rockefeller. That was Rockefeller, bro. <laughs> yeah, that was something different. Uh, Rock, <laughs> Rockefeller was hot, too. <laughs> Yo, just think about that. Joey Jahad, Meek Mill, and Quilly Mill. Yeah. That was Rockefeller. Shot, shot, no no disrespect to all the touch monies and hey, top and shotters Kelly and, and major figures. No disrespect. That. But Young Bob and the Headshots, they had the most sauce for that sure. Was like, that was from the mud. That's why. You know what I mean? That was from. They had the most sauce for that, sure. That was when YouTube came out. Yeah, that was when YouTube first started you know bubbling saying? a little bit. Yo, because you either had to buy the DVD on the streets right. or you Get or it was catch on it late on YouTube. Yeah, catch it real late on YouTube. You thought it just came out. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, you know I mean, uh, you don't know how. Oh, from Reed Dallas. Reed, shout out to Reed. You know what I mean, uh, Reed, one of the first guys gave me my first opportunity. Never, never, you know, forget that. Shout out to Reed. If it wasn't for Reed, I wouldn't know Joey Jahad. That's a fact. But um, shout out Joey Jahad, man. Again, absolutely. That's our guy, man. For sure, man. Shout out to Joey J. Straight up, man. <clears throat> um, but um, yeah. So Philly rap scene. Uh, that's that. Shout out to Cassidy though, man. I like <laughs> from like oh. What, what you think of Cassidy uh, with his battle rapping now? Oh, thank you for alley ooping me there. <laughs> what? Okay, this is what I'm I'm not, think about. Me personally, I'm not in the battle rapping right. as much as I probably should. Perfect, be Perfect, because I watch a lot of that. Yeah. So, so first things first, Cassidy. No more stage battles. All small <laughs> rooms. <laughs> Bro, all Bro, I, I can I can feel you on that because that one battle was crazy. No disrespect. I don't mean this with no disrespect. I think Cassidy is on a whole different echelon than Reed Dollars. Reed Dollars literally competed with Sue Surf in a small room, and I've been saying this. We could go check my Twitter at check make D4W. I said this right after his first battle. I was like, yo, no stages. Philly rappers aren't meant for stages. And and this is the thing. I want to point this out real quick. I'm going to go off on a little, but I, I've been like, this is like a big thing for me. So first things first, the reason why we can rap Cassidy freeway battle all the way through is because it was a small room. There weren't no interruptions. Every bar, the crowd ain't yelling. Yeah, let me just all... say, I hate that shit when the crowd get involved. Cause yeah, doing all this weird Chab, shit. None of that shit. You, got, you got to stutter a thousand times to get them yeah, to quiet that down. Shit piggyback off his all one this, dickhead. All who, this you know weird I mean? shit. You know what yeah. I'm saying? I come from the era where you came with your click. They they ad libbed your last bar. Just let everybody. And uh, that was that. But what they had to do is just let everybody shoot their shot. Oh, Yo, I'm gonna just keep it going. <laughs> Pour it up, yeah, man. Hey, but but um, yeah. yeah, so listen. That's real shit, though. Like, get your shit off. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, Absol let, let them get their shit off. Absolutely. You know? But uh, listen, the reason why there's no classic battles no more is because it's not small rooms and people can't get their full verses off with you know without interruption. That's why the Reed Dolls and Sue Surf battle was so good recently. Or better, because Reed Dolls is is a king, one of the kings of small rooms. And, you know, he wasn't the best. Sue Surf clearly won. But for Reed Dolls to put up that battle against the best battle rapper in battle rap at the moment, and shout out to Mook, but Sue Surf is clearly the best right now. And um, That's probably going to be debated. No, nah, that's that's a fact. Mook, I don't know. I don't Mook, know. Well, I don't he used to be the best for the while, but um, he lost like a couple bad. Well, I don't even want to say he lost, but it's just not. It's not impressive to be anymore because the the, the game changed. And once again, he might even flourish in a small room. But I know for a fact. What do you? How Cassie do you, how do you flourish, feel about? Um, do you, where small do you think these battle raps should be streamed? <sighs> That's you know another saying? great question. Wow. No, I'm, not, I'm shooting my shit. Right. So uh, <laughs> pay per view. So so let's go back to the logistics of it. Yo, you can you guys could get I remember watching a video of Jada Kiss saying all he needs is five hundred thousand, he'll battle anybody, Eminem or whoever, whole crews, Damn, whatever he situation. Said that shit? Five hundred grand. You can look it up on YouTube. Kiss? Kiss said that shit. He said Damn. he'll battle anybody for five hundred grand. I don't even want to see Kiss battle. Just make some bangers, bro. Yo, but listen, you know hear me out though. With the pay per view side of things, that makes it a whole different thing. Also, I know they're getting a lot of revenue off of YouTube streams. But that's but after the fact, though, right? Yeah, YouTube would be after the pay-per-view settled right, down. Right, right. Um, but I would just say put it on everything. I would say get rights to the audio, um, you know, get it on Spotify without a video. 
Get it on Tidal with the video. Because people listen to Spotify overnight and shit. Yeah, I listen, you know, jobs working jobs overnight. I want to hear them battles, man. I want to hear that shit. I want to hear that shit for the gun bus. I want to, you know what I'm saying? They getting 9 million views, 10 million views. You know what I'm saying? And the only thing about it is, though, putting it on them drums, they don't have a lot of playback value. See, songs have a right, lot of playback value. Once you hear it once, you're yeah, good. You know sense. what I'm saying? Um, but it's cool. It's still out there. But it's, it's still, still out there. It's still a way. You know? But anyway, so just stream it everywhere, do it everywhere. But I do want to see some bigger names in the battle rap community. And Philly rappers, stay in small rooms. That's my thing. That's my thing about that. I'm telling you, that's going to be like, a debate. I, I just feel like the battle rap community don't really want the big names in there, kind of. Shit. I remember you know? when Drake said he would battle Sue Sir. Well, that shit would be crazy. That, that ain't never going to happen. I would take Drake. Uh, Joe Buttons, I would like to see him hop back in there again. And I don't think that's gonna happen either. <coughs> I remember him battling Hollow to Don. I watched that. Um, who else would I like to see battle? Um, that's pretty much it. But ah, uh, yeah. So let, all right, let's move on to actually let's shoot our shot, and then we gonna move on to another topic. <clears throat> Absolutely. Good job. Definitely feeling good. Yeah, I am, but I am. You know what I'm Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, that one went through the nose almost. God damn. Yeah, so what you, you, you got you got something to ask or you yeah, want Yeah, I, I got I got something to ask. All right. <clears throat> so, back to the music. So, uh <clears throat> What do you feel about artists when they walk through the door? What's the best thing that you would prefer? Do you prefer artists that are like um I guess this is more for the people because I, I think I pretty much would already know the answer. Would you prefer artists to write his raps? What do you think is a better outcome for these newer artists? I mean, that depends on where you at in this music shit. But mm -hmm. to me, it don't matter. Like, yeah, sometimes it could be frustrating if somebody don't know their shit or whatever. But I say whatever delivers the best. Right, the, the best, best performance. No, best performance, best song, best all that. Like an average session. What you think a person should should? What's like a time range you think a a person should get average? <clears throat> I mean, definitely at least like uh, uh, guaranteed two hours. After that, what else? Yeah, it depends on where you want to take it. If you got your beat tracked out, if you got you know you might want to take some more time. You know, it depends. I, I got some people that spend an hour on a song. I got some people that spend. Eight hours on a song, like no right. bullshit. Right. So it depends how much you're invested into it, you know. As far as I know, artists, a lot of different artists got a different way of working. You know what I'm saying? And uh, right. it just depends on the artist. I mean, I've had, I've seen hits be made in in an hour, like no bullshit. Absolutely. Like I got, I got like question. millions of views hits. <laughs> so I got another question for you. I'm gonna just do my quick hot hot takes real quick. So I gotta step into my Pensado's place bag real quick. Well, give me, give Yo, me. Shout out all the engineers. Shout so if, out to if all you're the tuning engineers, in, man. you know, shout out all the engineers. We trying to make this shit for everybody, man. We not trying to make it just for like rappers, just for artists, just for. Well, um, hold on. I, my, my, what, what's your what's your favorite plugin right now, or what's the <laughs> artist's fa favorite plugins right now? Auto tune. <laughs> <laughs> Auto Which is cool. Tune. I love it. You know? Auto tune. Uh, anything? Any, any? Anybody doing anything special with the auto tune, or just the same auto tune just, every day? Nah, I mean everybody sounds different, so it sounds different on everybody. And uh, you know, shout out to these, shout out to these artists that are trying to do shit differently. You know, you know what I'm Absolutely. saying, and and really got their little. Like, you've been fucking with the auto tune now, and you really can put your own swag, swag on it. Swag on it. You know? That's the key. And, like, that's how you get, like, you know, these YM mellies and all that. <laughs> yeah. right, you know what I'm right. saying? Like, Absolutely. And uh, thugs and all that. Because it's like they putting their own S sauce <sighs> to it. Yeah. So, you know, and shout out all the Philly rappers and, and Trenton rappers, too. You know, that's Jersey, Trenton, Philly, PA. That's That's really... You know, pushing the envelope as far as that shit goes, you know, and and of course we always still like the spitters too. We don't we don't want to discredit that. You know Never that. Never discredit the spitters. But yeah, for the for the um the most popular plugin would have to be auto tune. I mean, okay, you know, <laughs> <laughs> like I hey, if you can name one that's more popular than that right now. Damn, yeah, you I know. can't tell you nothing that's more popular than the the, the tunes of all auto. <laughs> <laughs> all right, but go ahead. Yeah. You got a question for me? Oh, question man, I, I I don't have a question that has to do with that. 
Nah, this uh, just anything. You know? shoot, shoot, shoot your shot. <laughs> shoot my shot. Damn, you have to pour that shit out. My my questions are kind of basic, but oh, give me anything. Yeah, like I don't know. I was just gonna say, what's your favorite song out right now? Like I went album. Now, what's your favorite song? Right. And I don't even know if I know mine. Can I give you three? I'm gonna give you three. Yeah. Now I'm gonna tell you a story behind each one. Boom. So first one. I mean, first one right now, the hottest person in the game right now. And I'm telling y'all this really early because I just met him, and that's not even a bias. Is Fabio Foreign. Mm. Fabio Foreign. Big drip? Big drip. Right, big drip. Fabio Foreign is the hottest person in the game. First things first, New York always comes once every three years with this new gang, a lot of people in the video. Shout out to New York. Is it, they're definitely coming back, and I love uh, that shit. Energy. I think ever since Bobby Schmurda, you know, we had this, this, this cycle of fire. Coming from New York. And I think Bob, I mean, uh, Favi, shout out to Favi. I just met him recently at uh, Exotica. Shout out to the team and shout out to Favi for being around. Um, we'll leave that at that. Um, but uh, it's my guy. I love what he got going on. He got a song that's about to drop with Tory Lanez that is absolutely fire. Um, and he, of course, he got Big Drip and he got a few other songs that I was privy to hear. Um, that's all fire, all fire. So to me, he is the hottest person in the game right now, um, up and coming. Um, that's for sure. He has a lot going on. And and shout out to his producer, too, by the way. Um, I forget his name, but you got to figure. So he he did the Big Drip record. Drake just put out his uh, war yeah, I heard that. thing to his beat. Like literally, he just got like. Oh, that's uh, you talking about Axel. Axel. Axel, yes. Yeah, shout He's, out, shout out, Double O Smooth too. He just yo, if you if you uh want to listen to some hot ass shit, he just dropped a song. Oh, he dropped the um he the dropped big, it drip. On big drip. Big drip, you yeah, know, yo, Double O Smooth. I paid attention, bro. Double O killed that. I just seen <laughs> yo, it. Yo, he today. really killed that. Just John, seen though. it. I could play that shit for you guys right now. I just but, seen it. But go look it up, because we ain't got Double O up. Smooth, go look him up, man. I heard that jaw, fuck with it, man. But I really fuck with that jaw Double O Smooth did where he was talking about his mom uh, or his grandmother passed from the mold in the house. I was like, God damn, that was the really shit I heard from an artist in a while. <clears throat> so I'm going to really shout you out, Double O Smooth. I was really listening to that shit. That's my guy. And I really fuck with that jaw heavy. So I'm going to give you my platform, my opportunity to just tell you I really fuck with that jaw because I really was listening. And like I said, I, I, the streets, it, it, once I hear it from the streets, it's something different. But anyway, mm -hmm. Fabio Foreign. Fabio Foreign is my number one right now. That's, that's all I'm banging so right what else, now. What, else, what other songs? Um, so that's Big Drip. We'll just stick with Big Drip, number one for me at the moment. So what you what did that impact? Did you hear that shit in the clubs or how, what's the first time you heard that, John? Okay, so first time I heard that, John, was September 9th last God year. Damn. <laughs> I can tell you the exact time. That's I my was, brother's birthday too. Yo, Shout we were we were at Exotica. People were like, yo, this is People are walking up to me like, yo, that's Favi, you with, you mean, whatever. He got that big song in New York. I'm like, oh, where? I ain't, I'm in the club all the time. I ain't never heard it. Boom. He playing for me. We in the Sprinter. Shout out to the Sprinter. Shout out to the uh, driver and all them. We in the Sprinter. I heard that jaw. I'm like, oh, yeah, that's, 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 that's something right. But it wasn't the right ambiance for me to hear it. You know, it was way too much going on. You know, I wasn't all the way in the Sprinter. I was outside. We was all blowing. You uh, know what yeah, I mean? You were so I was, I, was, I, was, I was in the vibe, but I knew it was fire. So spun that weekend. We, I get back to Philly. Shout out to my man Dave East, whatever. We go to Empire. First thing I hear walking through the door, big drip. I fell in love with a lit bitch. Hey, hey, all the strippers is going wild. I'm talking about the DJ had to bring it back 79 times. <laughs> this was not even two weeks after I heard it. I'm like, yo, this is crazy. I'm thinking to myself, like, oh shit. Like, yo, this joint is something different. That's Hearing it in the club, shout out to Empire too and all the Beautiful ladies at Empire. That was actually the first time I was at Empire. So it was a lot, lot, lot of, lot of story behind this. But it was the first time I was at Empire. And when I heard and like Empire two one five, shout out to the strip club. It literally was like something different. They was bringing it back, and 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 Empire is like known for the big booty girls. So they're like 
big drip. I fell in love with it. Like this. Hey, hey. I'm like, yo, this is that. It probably got like seven drums in the whole entire record. And he been killing it like that. I yeah, love it's that. It's that. Da, 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 da. That's that. No, nah, it's just no, nah, it's that kick. It's that it's that triplet kick beat. It's like boom. Like it come in, it yeah, come yeah, in. It goes, <clears throat> It's like, yeah. It come it's in like impact. seven hours late. Very impactful. Yeah, it, it, but it come in seven hours late on all, <laughs> every Axel record. Yeah. And that's no disrespect. I love it. Hey, but, um, shout out to them. Yo, that's that drill I, shit. Yo, you, yo, you really killing it. I, I'm peeping your formula, too. I don't want to give all, those, all the sauce away. Now, there's a few other dudes out there, too, that's that's got that vibe. You know, it's, it's a whole thing. And lo- it came, I think it came from London is like a big part of it, too. You but you understand what I'm saying? The kick, the kick drum coming yeah. like an hour late. Yeah, <laughs> like literally on every Axel record, that kick drum comes in like, and it's always a triplet. It's like that a a a like that yeah. drum. It's like boom, yeah. boom, boom. It comes in. That's what it. Like literally, it. Yeah, nah, be, you're right. It's it's a it's a, yeah. Like literally, sure. Drake literally rapped about ten man things <laughs> before, <laughs> before, before the drums the drop, and I'm just like he snowboarded down the whole mountain before the yeah, play. <laughs> yo, he snowboarded down the entire Appalachians before the shit be, before the kick even started, <laughs> and it, I'm just like he like I ain't even tired of the big thing goes. I'm, I'm like yo, yes, this is that. And the yeah. next thing I know, he was down at the bottom, but I heard the kick drop. I'm like oh shit. <laughs> He's like you. You already know that I paid a man dues. Yep. <laughs> I'm like, oh shit, he paid them dues. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the sound though, right now. And Pop Smoke got it. You know what oh, I mean? shout out to Pop Smoke too. So I like Pop Smoke too, uh, record. I definitely fuck with Pop Smoke. Welcome record. to the board. Um, he remind me of that like fire. Uh, I fuck with that joint. Shout out uh Pretty Tsunami too. She put me on to that record. Mm, Pop yeah. Smoke. But she from she, Jersey, right? She from Trenton, yeah. She from Trenton. Straight okay. Up. Yeah, so she Baby. I, I think uh, Baby. I think Pop Smoke from New York. Yeah, he's from New York. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so she in the middle of that Philly. Yeah, yeah, she yeah. She brought she brought me that and, and freestyled over. That shit was fire. If you okay. if you ain't hear that yet, look up Pretty Tsunami. Welcome to the party. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. So okay, so right now, my main thing I'm banging right now is five year four big drip. Big if I had to give you a number two. Yeah, cause I ain't even got no list. Number two. Ooh, I don't know what I want to say on this podcast or who I want to give credit to. That's cool. But I'm gonna give I'm gonna give it all the way. I'm gonna keep it all the way. I'm gonna keep it all. Fuck with him. I'm gonna keep it all the way tall. Number two, I'm I'm listening to that Drake War record, and number three, I'm listening to that Quilly Mills album. I can't even lie, that's that's my shit right now. So those are the those those are the those are the three uh three things I'm listening to right now. Um, and that's pretty much that. Oh, Sue Surf album, Fire. Sue Surf, Surf album, wow. Fire, and Davies album, Fire, too. Let me not c- dis- discredit both of either oh, one. Oh, and, and why don't you let them know, bro? Davies album, Fire, go look that, go look look that up. Look on the first we're, song. We're, 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 gonna, we're gonna leave that at that. <laughs> but you go look, check that first song out. You might hear me, you might not. I mean, sure. but at the end of the day, go check it I out. I do. I fuck with the uh, with the with the Roddy Rich John, the Roddy Rich album, mm-hmm. or a couple. I, I fuck with a lot of Roddy Rich's songs. Yeah, I fuck with the, I fuck with the uh, the box. But if I had to, if I had, to, I ain't gonna lie. So this this my pull up. This my pull up set. If I'm trying to pull up and like, if I'm like in front of down or somewhere crazy, and I'm just trying to let that music play, my playlist will be Big Drip, Bragging Rights. And probably uh, War by Drake. Or What's Bragging Rights? Hot. Who's that? That's Quilly. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Bragging Rights is Quilly. That jaw mm. is fire. Mm. That jaw is fire. Well, shit. Go listen to all that shit. Go listen to all that. You, you know what I mean? mean? Th- that's, that's the, those, those are, those are the th- things I'm listening to at the moment. You know what I'm saying? I keep it all the way tall, all the way a thousand you know what I mean? With everything I do. So that's what's on my playlist at the moment. All right. So let me ask you this. Let's switch it up. You know what I mean? Let's talk about um, the difference between like hip hop and rap nowadays. And as far as like, all right, so you got you got your Post Malones of the world. You got your J. Coles of the world. You got your, you know, uh, NBA Young Bulls. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's all rap, but it's all different. Very different. 
Right. So what you what what you think? Where you think this shit's going? You know what I mean? Or 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 what's your preference too? My preference is Kanye. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my preference is yeah, Kanye. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kanye. I'm gonna just be all the way honest with you. And um, or Hove. Well, or Hove for sure. But the reason why I said Kanye isn't the reason why I listen to Hove. But the reason right, why I said, but the reason why I said Kanye is because it's so much music involved. Mm-hmm. That I feel like I'm in school when I'm listening to the record, not even listening to finds, what he's saying. He finds them fucking songs that just you feel it. Like you know what I'm saying, like you fucking. Feel so it. so let's just step on that real quick. I listen to everybody's music. Anybody don't care if I don't like you, like you, love you, don't love you, don't know you, do know you. Listen mm-hmm. to everybody's music. I judge it all equally, right? And uh, ninety percent of rappers. All got the same beats, all rapper the same, all do the same thing. Yeah. When I hear Kanye West, I don't care if it's on church music, I don't care if it's secular, non secular, whatever word you like to refer it as. It is just something different for me. It refreshes my soul. Like, um, I need to see the track list, but um, I tell you what, that that Chick-fil-A song. <laughs> that shit is fire. Listen. You know, you when wanna... I first heard that song, I'm like, "Yo, okay, this is like, I, I like, I fuck with Chick Fil A." So when he told, "Okay, you my," yo, he related to uh, everybody. I'm, 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 t- I'm talking. He said, "You're my yo, number one." Yo, I'm on. I'm with on the lemonade. <laughs> like, yo, I'm yo. on. I'm talking. I'm snap snapping girls like, "Yeah, you buy Chick Fil A, baby." <sighs> but that bridge on there is just something different. Yo, that, album. that bridge on there, standing on my own. What? Even if I take this walk alone, yo, I yo when fine. he started going into that, I was like, all right, that's all I needed to know. That is all I needed to hear. It was okay. I'm ready. Right, I'm all in. You know, you, know, my, what I'm you know what's my favorite John on there? What? When it's like, woo, 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 woo. We got everything we need. Fire, <laughs> yo. Like that. My- that song just makes it, it touches my soul because. I feel it makes me feel good. Right. Like I was in the car, right? I'm driving to go get my hair cut, right? Mm-hmm. Shout out to Monique. Shout out to Momo. And um, I'm going to get my hair cut, and like I'm, I'm kind of like just pissed off. It's early as shit. <laughs> yeah, <what> I mean, <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm, it's early. I'm tired. So you doing them early appointments? No, nah, I do them early appointments because <laughs> I got, you know, I got to be in the studio all day. You feel right. me? All right. So, um, so yeah, I'm, I'm in the car, all mad. I put on that. <laughs> Yo, my whole mood changed, bro. I'm like, I'm you know, like, you know a song. I got everything I need. Like, yo, for real, he changed my whole mood with that fucking album, yo. Like, shout out to Kanye, bro. He really put together an album with like no cursing in it. Hear me out. And and it just it's a I'm vibe. Glad you said that. Two things I just want to say. Another song that washes my soul, for lack of better words, is "Use This as Gospel" or "This Gospel." Mm. This gospel, heaven, yeah. long oh my road God. to heaven. That shit, yo. That so is well, that, epic. So a lot of people can hate on this album. I don't care. I, I think make they my own opinion. Didn't give it the time, of regardless the day. of the situation. But it's cool though. I, yeah. One thing I will say about it is I feel like he could have did it in a million dollar studio and I feel like he did it on 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 sporadically, but I feel like Maybe. he could he could catch those vibes. That was the only way he could really catch those vibes. Cool. That's my only critique but on you it. Got one thing I don't know care about, about I don't care he about He hasn't been in, in them studios for Yeah. I don't, for don't care a long about time. but I will say I just see the picture of him with Dr. Dre in one of those crazy ass studios. So I was like, okay, he heard the critique. Mm. But that don't mean nothing to me because that album was fire. Hell yeah. But one thing I want to say is he made a gospel album that literally washes my soul. Yo. I literally like Yo, if, I, if your day's fucked up, go listen to that fucking album. Let me like, get I you, swear to you, it's gonna fucking help you. Let like, me get you Help me, I swear to God. I swear to God. So my mother is is a very no, I'm not boy. even religious. Right. <laughs> I'm gonna give you that real quick. I gotta, I gotta step up. into this bag. 
my mother is a very church-going lady, right? And oftentimes when she's doing an event at church, I stop by. You know what I'm saying? I come. Never. Yo, would, shout out to your mom, too, by so the way. Shout out to Miss HD, great, Mom Dukes. Great person. Great person all the way around the board. But anyway. And, and a go-getter and a powerful woman, too. Absolutely. Straight definitely. But listen. I never spoke in church once, never sung a song, just go in there, receive my blessings, and keep it moving. But that Kanye song <laughs> make me want to get up there and sing that joint. I ain't going to hold you. Like, hold up, give me yo. that. Get, I don't know. It's like one key. Yo, I, yo, yo, keyboardist. so good. Chris, I need one key. You know what I mean? You know, choir. Because it don't even matter if, you, if, if it's like if it's like you're praising God. Or like, it's just like oh you got to you gotta love certain so shit in life. Different. And you got you to gotta like be happy at times. Yo, it's crazy because I know... So, Cause when I know from the come outside on, like, it's in, like ugh. <laughs> that shit is I crazy. The, I know bro. from the outside looking in, people are gonna watch this, and we a little on. So I'm, I don't I'm really giving. Fuck. That was the point, but, by but, the way, no, no, of this, no, of this no, show. No, no, for real, for real. Yeah, At man. the end of the day, I don't care what y'all think. I'm only speaking from the heart with, with, with this. At all and times, I, I, and I don't have no agenda. I care less about Kanye for real. Like, yeah, we ain't, is, we ain't pushing no, nobody over nobody else. No agenda here. I'm just honestly once we get on, we knew it was gonna get here. You know what I'm saying? So I, that I, I, I'm honestly going to tell you guys, like that shit, Kanye put out an album that does something for me, and, that's and why I knew it was going to be hot because my one of my favorite gospel records ever is Ultralight Beam, and that was mm. before this. I remember the first time you put me on to that first one, that Ultralight Beam. Before that shit came out, this Absolutely. guy somehow had that shit, and gave it to me, in, in a Dropbox, and he was <laughs> right. <laughs> I don't know where the fuck that shit came from, but that Ultralight Beam was something. Yo, different. he gave that shit to me. He was like, "Yeah, it's a gospel, John." I'm like, "All right." So I put it on. I'm like, "Holy shit!" This yeah. shit was like this big. <laughs> <laughs> you feel me? It yeah. was huge, and it was like Shout choir. Out the chance for winning a Grammy. For yeah, that too. Chance <laughs> killed that shit. By the way. Absolutely. And, yeah, that album was fire too. But, Absolutely. Uh, yeah, yay. Shout out to Yay, bro. Yo, man. He he puts I, out I, I'm glad he I puts gotta... out music that I want to hear. You know, we we might be a little bit older than the audience that maybe watching that this dominates the no, not even that cuz who knows who's going to watch well, yeah, this. Who but knows, but, yeah, but the right. the audience that that, you know, dominates figures out the what's the best music right now. Oh, the, but, the audience that's cultivating the culture. Right. Which is yeah. which I'm cool with, by the way. Yeah, but I love I, I I like the change, bro, because music has always changed mm -hmm. through the decades and and through uh, like generations. You know what I'm saying? Like right. if you go back to you know the '70s and you know people from the '70s say that music I ain't from lie, I don't music know no from 70s music. well whatever. <laughs> but, but you know what I'm saying? Your mom's music right. or whoever like listen to music from then and they're like they listen to music from the 90s and they're like this shit's trash compared yeah. to the 70s it always, it always was like you know that. what I'm saying and we and some people that love hip hop think that the newer hip hop is trash because they're stuck on the old hip hop but listen man music's always gonna evolve you know through the decades and through the generations and and me I'm I, I like to embrace it because like it's just, it's different. It's art, you know what I'm saying? So you can't really, it's always going to change. And the way that people come up with certain shit is so... Right. So let me you know put it saying? in a better perspective for you. I told y'all earlier, I think the hottest album of the year was The Baby. But me, personally, that, that's not something I will listen to every day. It does nothing for me. It only does stuff for me when I'm with shorties or, you know, whatever the situation. Oh, that's no bop, disrespect. Bop. That's no disrespect to The Baby. I think he's fire. But at the end of the day, that's like something I listen to with a lot of females or, you know, when I'm trying to get into a certain groove, a certain rhythm, you know what I'm saying? I get oh, right into that. The whole album. Bop in it. Yeah, well, I need some shit with some bop in it. Then like, I go right up. to that because I know he, right, Young Thug album, hot. I mean, I, mean, I, mean, I know what is hot. I mean, I'm right mm -hmm. out the top. I'm right on all that. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, there's only a couple artists I look forward to and Drake, Kanye, and Kanye specifically is who I'm mainly looking forward to to push the culture and and make music for have, my have ears. You, have you been in tune with the new Griselda shit and all that? I have not. Listen to it. Okay. That shit is fun. That's my homework. I will listen to Griselda. And listen the reason why Griselda. I'm... Another thing, I haven't listened to it, but I've I, I seen a bit, real quick clip of the Elliot Wilson inter interview of her. Shout out to Elliot Wilson. 
Um, he killed the end of this year, by the way. Wait, you talking? Wait, you said the interview of her? Yeah. Griselda? Yeah. Griselda's not a girl. <laughs> oh, well then that's not who I'm talking about. Yeah, then. you're, you're thinking of something me. else. I'm thinking of something else. Griselda is uh, is a uh, rappers. That's a group of rappers. Yeah. Oh well then. And they're fire. Is. Like like. But I thought Elliot Wilson did the. Griselda think of Wu Tang. No, Griselda is a girl though. That that's why their name is because of. Yeah, Griselda de Blanca. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But right. Griselda's a, a rap group, though. Oh, well, yeah. whatever. You know what I meant. But I I'm think Elliot Wilson still did them. And I seen a clip did. of it. Now, that, that's why, though. Right. Because. Anyway. They're hot, though. Trust me. They're hot. I haven't listened to it. I have not yeah. watched it. That's why I asked you if you knew who they were. Right. I, I do not. But they're hot, though, bro. Trust me. Ch- check out check Griselda. Them out. Griselda. Shout out to Griselda. But, um, yeah, so th- yeah. that's what I'm. I'm so, wait, where do you want to take this, John, bro? I know we've been on here for a minute. Yeah, dude. I don't even know how long we've been on this show. We've been on this show for a minute. <laughs> what time we start? Just two hours. No way. Sheesh. Damn. <laughs> yeah, we that almost, was the easy two hours. We almost went through the whole bottle. We, we could have the... did it. Yeah, we could have did it. We could have did it, bro. I ain't going to lie. That seems like a good place to end it. It listen, does. Listen, that was two hours. This is our first show, right? Shout out to my man Jumbo. That Shout was out to first Checkmate. One. Shout out to Checkmate TV and that all. That was an easy two hours. Like right. I'm, I'm, I'm this, not even done and, and this was like a like pilot. This was like a pilot for a week. We didn't even. Yeah, you know I mean, I Damn. hit him up last right. week. We talked about it, and I was just like, "Let's get it done. Let's get it done. We just got to get it here and do it." Like right. you know, and and, and that's just going to be easy work. Right. And Wait till I, we get it all real set up. Right. And not even that. It's set up. Like. Right. If you fuck with us and fuck with the content that we're talking about, Absolutely. it's more to come of this shit. Like we had like four questions in this John. Yeah, and, you know and I saying? and this was all off the tilsy. Wait till we get it all written down and get you know what I mean. Yeah, not only that, it's just like just the vibe. It's just like it's crazy because the conversations that go on in this studio right here right. could have been a podcast years, years ago, ago. You know, and even the, and the conversations that that's that's happened between us in the Cutlass. And in the, <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Fendi facts. In the cutlass. Heavy like, on the facts. You know, like, it could have been a, co- a podcast back, you know. So, Absolutely. You know. So I just want to say, this is the Shoot Your Shot Podcast. I am Checkmate TV, a.k.a. you mean Check Checkiano Vesducci. This is my guy, Jumbo. This yeah. is the Shoot yeah, Your yeah, Shot yeah. Podcast. Yeah. Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> But, but, but we yeah, out of here. We out of here. We're going to shoot a shot, though, before we get we out of here. We're going to shoot this shot, though. Yeah, man. Holla. So, yo, thank you for uh, thank tuning you for in. Thank you for watching it. Make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you subscribe. No, yes. we ain't doing none of that. Yeah, we ain't doing that, but, but please subscribe. <laughs> but please subscribe. We're going to figure that shit out. <laughs> shoot your shot, shoot your baby. Shot, baby. 2020. Slap. Holy shit.